Hey Taurus, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for your financial abundance. So anything related to money, career, um, stuff like that. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck love to see that i feel like you are definitely in your king of pentacles energy um you could identify as a divine masculine or maybe you are just the head of the household um some of you have a lot of responsibility or a lot of weight on your shoulders right now to make something happen in terms of your finances kind of like you have this big picture of what you're trying to accomplish um there's a kind of like a very specific goal that you have in your mind right now and it's like all the weight of the world is on you to make that happen but what's interesting is that it feels like all of that pressure that is on this one thing you're putting it on yourself and that's how you are able to maybe get things done right it's like not it's not enough for someone to tell us hey you got to do this thing it's like you have to put that pressure on yourself you have to want to do it you cannot be forced so I feel like for you, this is actually a good strategy. Um, I feel like the universe is trying to maybe lift the pressure off just a little bit. Um, but I do feel like you have a very consistent flow. Um, I feel like you're very focused and this King of Pentacles does not play around when it comes to his money. So it's it really feels like the universe is encouraging you to keep doing what you're doing. But just remember to every now and then give yourself some grace and some flexibility. Um, because things are going to happen no matter what. I feel like the chariot is saying that things are going to keep changing. They're going to keep moving fast. You're going to keep going in that direction of this financial goal. But some of you um, need to be aware of, you know, when it's necessary to adapt or be flexible. Right behind that chariot is the tower. So some of you could be dealing with an unexpected situation right now that has been maybe throwing some loops into your financial you know, um, maze, right? Like maybe some of you have not been um, prepared or did not anticipate for something that happened in the recent past that is now creating a bit more of that pressure. It's like you already have the pressure you put on yourself to make something happen. Now there's this, you know, out of context, out of the blue situation, maybe even some unexpected expenses, uh, maybe someone that you have been, um, close to or maybe you know for yourself there's been some expenses that you've been taking care of that you didn't expect so overall it feels like there's a reason for the pressure but at the same time we need to learn to give ourselves some grace so we have the knight of pentacles seven of pentacles strength which is leo and the four of wands i feel like the four of wands is confirmation that the outcome is going to remain the same you're gonna reach this milestone you're gonna reach this accomplishment you're gonna reach the goal that's not gonna change what will change, however, could be the trajectory, the path, or the numbers. So I feel like the Seven of Pentacles is that reminder to remain flexible. It also feels like there is more than one way to make something happen. Um, but if we are always stuck on just the one method or the one strategy or the one solution, then we may not ever realize that there are others. So again, remaining flexible, that seems to be the biggest theme here. I feel like the Knight of Pentacles also speaks to um, you not needing to rush something because it's going to happen anyway. Almost like in trying to rush the process, you may come, um, you may see some things or run into some unexpected or unnecessary hiccups uh, for no reason. So I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is the universe saying, revise the plan. Um, where can you slow things down for yourself so that it benefits you? Because um, I feel like maybe slow and steady is, is going to win the race here. So just kind of keep that in mind. I feel like that's only going to be specific or relevant to those of you that have this very detailed plan where it seems like certain parts can be kind of slowed down. They can be um, re rewritten or um, thought of, thought through differently, but you know, it's, it's up to you. Ultimately, we have the strength, which I feel like maybe for some of you, you're doing something that is very different um, or maybe something that is outside of your comfort zone. So you know, big risks often do provide big rewards. And I feel like that's the message there. Kind of like the universe is saying, yes, it's new and it's different and 
you do have to be brave to do it and to try it but it's going to come with its rewards so don't feel like that was a bad idea don't feel like that was a mistake because i feel like some of you are thinking maybe i shouldn't have done that right maybe i shouldn't have you know taken such a big risk and then the universe is like nope that's gonna work out for you so yeah this is all about just relieving the pressure relieving the doubt um, just take the load off and trust that it is still going to be a good payout all right, let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so really I feel like this is, again, there's something that can be beneficial. There's something that is um, here for you to change your plan so that it works out better. I feel like there is an alternative, there is a solution, but you need to look for it in order to find it. It's not going to find you, right? You need to find it. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Tower. Just like there might have been something unexpected in the past that maybe threw off your financial plans, I feel like there's going to be an equally an unexpected opportunity or offer that comes through that, again, you may not have seen before that helps you move things along in a different way. So that Six of Swords is the continuation of this, you know, challenge of this path of this journey. I feel like whatever financial decisions you've been making, um, they're going to lead you in the right direction. But if you keep doubting every move that you make, then that's that's kind of where we run into um, some issues. So don't doubt yourself, right? Don't doubt the process. And again, be open to the new opportunities or the solutions that come through. Um, some of you could be entering a new type of career or you are embracing a new job. Some of you are considering changing your job or taking an offer. And there could be this feeling of, well, what if it doesn't work out? What if it's not as good as the last one, right? There's this constant like thought bubble of, you know, doubts. Um, but I feel like the universe is saying just it's an open door, right? It's an alternative. It's a solution and it's meant to help. All right, let's clarify the four of wands. And we have the world at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, there's definitely... Um, a new chapter here for you in terms of financial abundance. And I think that it's going to start um, when you believe that the outcome is the same, regardless of how the plan changes. That's really where you get to see and embrace this financial abundance. Because some of you are only, some of you are saying this can only happen if the plan goes like this. And the universe is saying the journey um, or the financial abundance is really going to start to feel real when you understand that the outcome is what matters not the way that it happens right that's kind of where things get lost in translation so we have the queen of wands the eight of pentacles and the two of pentacles this is where you come in right this is the part where you really need to pay attention because i feel like you will ultimately be the one who decides how this goes right you have to make a choice here so it feels like you're you know, journey towards financial abundance, financial stability, financial freedom, independence, all of that, you have to make a choice. Um, and I feel like the Eight of Pentacles confirms, yes, this is about money, maybe this is about your career, but ultimately you have to believe and feel confident in this decision that you're making. Some of you want to believe that a different path is going to lead to the same outcome, but you don't trust it just yet. And then maybe others of you are like, yeah, you know what? You're right. The outcome is the only thing that really matters, not how I get it done as long as it happens anyway. And so where you are in that spectrum of emotions, that's that's what matters. That's what this decision is about. You arrive there at your own pace, but ultimately you have to choose to really trust that you believe that that's true, right? That the outcome is what matters and that the path itself can be flexible if you allow it. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.